Hey guys, this is MathCamp321, bringing you another solution to the Park practice test for Algebra 2, years 2014-2015. This is question number 5, and it says, For the products listed, I represents the imaginary unit. Which of the products are real numbers? Select all that apply. Well, the first thing that I notice in this question is that they're asking us to find things that are real which means if my answer contains this imaginary unit i, that should not be counted as one of the correct answers. So let's toggle through each of these answer choices and see which ones are going to be real. So let's start with a, and what we're doing here is we're multiplying two complex numbers together, which is going to require foiling. So let's see, I'll put a little a here to designate that that's what I'm doing. And foiling, I'm going to get 64, the outer and the inner are going to cancel out, and then I'm going to have minus 4i squared. Now, it's probably worth noting uh, some of the basic powers of i. So I'm going to go off to the side, and I'm just going to write down this little chart that I use at my school, which cycles from i to the 0 to i to the 3rd. Now, some students have trouble remembering the responses to these four powers of i, but here's how I reason it out. Anything to the power of 0 is 1, so i to the 0 is just 1. Anything to the power of 1 is just itself, so i to the 1 is just i. And then these two responses down here are just the opposite of these. So this is negative 1, and this is negative i. So that's one way you can remember these four basic powers of i, which are really helpful in knowing when you're doing a problem like this over here. So let's go back to the green and, fi and finish this out. Um, I squared, remember, is negative 1, which makes this negative 4 times negative 1, or 64 plus 4, or 68. And certainly, that's real. So I'm going to put a check by that. Now let's go to a different color. Now I'm going to go to uh, B. And this is just going to be distribution. So I'm going to distribute the 5i through to both things. And let's see what I get. So to start, I'm going to get 40i. And then I'm going to end up with negative 10i squared. Now to review, i squared is negative 1. And negative 10 times negative 1 is 10. So what I really have here is 10 plus 40i. And there's not going to be anything that makes that i go away. So this would be considered a complex number, which is not real. So B is not going to work. Let's go to C. C is just multiplying these two things together. So very little work is going to be shown here. It's just 15i. And because it contains an i, I know that it's not real. So this does not work either. OK, let's go to D. Well, this is just negative 12. And negative 12, of course, is a real number. So that's going to get a check. And now we'll go to E. And this is going to be another distribution, except this time the single term is on the left instead of the right. So I'm going to distribute these two together and then these two together. And this is going to be 8i plus 2i squared really driving home this idea that i squared is negative 1, we get 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2, plus 8i. There's going to be no way to get this i to go away. So this is a complex number. It's not real. This is not going to work. So e does not get selected. And then we'll finish with f. And this is going to be just multiplying, uh, getting us 5i squared. And i squared, of course, is negative 1. So we have 5 times negative 1, or negative 5, which is real. So we have three winners here. And the winners are choice A, choice D, and choice F. And this question type is a little unusual for standardized tests where you get to pick more than one option. So just make sure you read the instructions carefully. Here it says, select all that apply. So don't get too excited that A works and just move on to the next question. You have to consider every single option, which makes it even more annoying than it could have been.